You could have lived my mom. Look, it's swollen. Ow, I feel so itchy. Love, the love of my family. That's what makes me fight. There's no way that I'm going to be little. This is Mr. Mosquito. And this is the Yamada family, his food source. In the game, you play as Mr. Mosquito, and the goal is to suck the blood of the family and get enough of it before they notice you. In 2001, Eidos Interactive announced their Fresh Games label, designed to take risks by bringing weird Japanese games to North America, and Mr. Mosquito was one of the three games released. One of the other ones, Mad Maestro, is a super cool rhythm game that we'll take a look at on the channel one day. But anyway, Mr. Mosquito. Mr. Mosquito can only suck blood from designated areas of the body at specific times that are determined by what each family member is doing. The family members loop their animations, and you need to pay close attention to see when the prime opportunity to strike is. Miss it, and you'll need to position yourself in a way that you have easy access to the bite spot without being seen, wait for the animation to repeat, and then fly in for the attack. While you're stalking your prey and while you're flying towards the bite marker, it's possible that you'll get spotted by whatever member of the Yamada family you're going after. If this happens, battle mode begins. Mr. Mosquito will become hunted in a boss battle where the human tries to attack him by any means possible. Just like a real mosquito, when you're caught, you have to hit the human's pressure points to calm their nerves and relax them enough that they forget about your existence, or faint, allowing more blood to be sucked. Successfully completing a battle event unlocks a new color for your mosquito, so it's usually worth getting caught at least once if you're not aiming for quick runs. Each mission takes place in a different room in the house with a variety of dangers, interactive elements, and collectibles in each. What I mean by interactive elements is simply things to distract the family and help expose their weak spots. You can turn on the TV, the stereo, cause a house phone to ring, you get it. Dangers are mostly a mix of bug zappers, poison spray, air conditioners, and uh, fireballs being shot from the hands. And collectibles are hidden throughout the levels as food items, hearts, and mini hearts that raise your maximum health. These are extraordinarily difficult to see, but while you're flying around, you'll occasionally spot them in weird areas of the room. Maybe this way. Controls are strangely heavy for a mosquito. You fly forward with R1, backwards with L1, control your direction with the left stick, and you use the right stick to fly vertically, up and down, and strafe left and right. When you have an opening for a bite, you push circle to home in on it, and then R3 to start sucking. Once you're sucking, you play a mini game, where you have to keep rotating the analog stick to keep your marker in a randomly moving area. Go too fast or too slow, or fall out of the blue area, and the person's heart rate will start going up. If this happens, it's best to stop sucking blood and wait for the next go around. I'm one of those psychopaths that plays flying games where you push up to go up and down to go down. I know, I know. L let it go. If you're playing on original hardware, both analog sticks are inverted on the vertical axis with no way to change it, which prevented me from ever beating this game when I was younger. Thankfully, on an emulator, you can just switch it to be whatever you want. You begin the game in Reyna's room. The first couple stages are pretty simple. Nobody knows of your existence yet, and here you simply need to suck two tanks of Reyna's blood from her weak spot, which is exposed by turning off the lights, your turning on the radio, or getting caught and completing a battle where you hit her weak spots. After sucking her blood, you move on to Kaneo in the storeroom. Another super easy stage. You suck two tanks of blood, move on to Kanichi in the living room. Again really easy, you suck the blood from the top of his head where the marker appears and you're golden. Then Reyna decides to take a bath. Big mistake. Either she's getting her blood sucked, or she's flooding her entire house today. You have to suck three tanks of blood from her left shoulder, and you're golden. She's gonna plow through the next two, then you suck four tanks of blood from Kaneo's feet, and four tanks of blood from Reyna's neck and left finger. Now let's talk about the actual game. So this is the hardest level in the game in my opinion. This one took me a good hour of retrying over and over again. And this is probably the best stage for me to explain the game to you and why it can be difficult and more than just fly to the weak spot and suck the blood. So, Kanichi is playing around with flowers in the Japanese room, and ever since you made his head itchy, he wants nothing to do with you. So, he set up a ton of mosquito repellent around him. 
These will kill you almost instantly if you fly above them. The first spot you need to suck from are his lips, which are conveniently located right below his eyes, which is what he sees you with since he's a human. The marker appears right after he burns himself and it only shows up for about 3 seconds. There's also an air conditioner that changes the direction of the mosquito repellent. Through trial and error and stalking, you have to figure out the weak spots are his head and his palm. Through trial and error, you have to figure out where to hide so you don't get spotted while you're finding that out. And what setting the air conditioner needs to be on. And how long you can suck his blood before he one hit kills you with a slap or a crush. So, you need to hide up in the top left corner of the room and stalk him until he burns himself. Then you've got that three second window to rush towards his lips, assuming the air conditioner is turned off, otherwise you'll get hit by the mosquito repellent, where then you can suck 1.5 vials of blood from his lips. Any more than that, and you get one hit killed and need to restart the entire stage. Then you do it again until you've got three vials of blood from his lips. After that, you gotta circle around behind him, not getting seen, avoiding the mosquito repellent, and yet again wait for him to burn himself, but this time while well, the air conditioner is on. You can then suck about three quarters of a vial of blood from his left palm before he crushes you, and you have to restart the level. Once you've got all the vials of blood from both the designated spots, this happens. Look out! Most levels play out like this. It's a game of stalking your prey and attacking at the right moment, remaining unnoticed, and escaping with the blood as quickly as possible. So anyway. Reyna invites her rich, privileged friend who, like all rich folk, has never been bit by an insect before. Reyna went downstairs to grab them some drinks, and she mostly paces around the room. Another pretty easy stage before the big finale. The next three stages, the family is in full-on attack mode from the very start. Family is angry, and they aren't just gonna bend over and subscribe to my channel. I mean, submit to a mosquito. You begin each stage by attacking their weak spots to knock them out cold on the ground so you can suck their blood. They'll spin around, attack you with bug spray, jump and swat at you, wear mosquito coils on their head, and even shoot fireballs that one hit kill you. But eventually, you knock out the entire family and suck their blood before the final mission, where you fly through the whole house and suck the blood of their unconscious bodies one last time before escaping. I see why I never beat this game as a kid. It takes some extreme patience to watch the same animation cycle happen in a loop over and over, trying to figure out where the bite points are. There were times where I was a bit bored, I guess, just waiting, but the feeling you get when you're almost finished sucking your last vial of blood, not knowing if you're gonna get one hit slapped, is kinda terrifying. And when you do finish sucking the blood, you feel this sense of victory like you just won an Olympic gold medal, or possibly even better in the case of the flower room. If you've played this game before and are just here for a little nostalgia, Fun fact, if you rotate the analog stick 30 times on the opening splash screen, you can play a bonus game called Reckless Cyclist. I've covered some weird games on this channel for sure. If, if you're into that, my, my next video is probably as strange as PS2 era games can get. I love sharing these passion games with you, but hey, if you want to help me out, if you need some inspiration to keep this up, feel free to hit the sub button, the little bell, and the like button, or whatever you feel like. Anyway, thanks so much guys. Love you. Peace.